people, Zar Thwomp here, and welcome to episode 14 of Mario Luigi Partners in Time. Last time, we entered the Koopa Seum, and we encountered Princess Shroob, though not before she sacrificed Peach to Adult Peach to PD Piranha, and we entered the Coliseum itself, we fought a Junior Shroomboid brat, and we were sent down to these caves. So now let's get a move on, because we've got stuff to do in, in this sewage cave area. Anyways, this is a pretty cool enemy that I'm kind of sad that has never been reused. Basically, it's a Sniffaro. Basically, boom! 93 damage. Just Mario with no damage. That's, that's, that's just great. Now we can truly take out all of our enemies. Now we can truly reign supreme. I love how just Mario is my instant death machine. Mario destroys everyone in my path. Smash egg, shall we? Oh, that's so nice. 27, 32, and 16. Item? Yes, item indeed. Super drop. Yeah, and we got free trampoline off of it. Nice. Always a welcome thing in my book. Yeah, just that increase. Okay. I know. I'm not letting you steal my fire flower. And we did it. Hooray. Another trampoline. Nice. We got both of our trampolines back from the Shrewboid fight. Very nice. And three more trampolines. The game wants us to use trampolines, apparently. So let's head down here. Let's see what this area has for us. Okay, so ba-bombs. Go, baby Luigi. Strike him down. And we could kill them in one hit with the babies. Very nice. Ow. You will not kill baby Luigi. Baby Luigi shall survive. But I just love how overleveled we are. And because we're so overleveled, we're just gaining experience like you wouldn't believe. This game is just very nice when it comes to experience. And you're just leveling up like mad. Dire free badge. But before we do anything with the dire free badge, let's get our bean. Because I think we're now at 81 beans. Yep, 81. Nice. Dire free badge. Yep, basically we get one of those. I Like I said, it's easier to keep your bros up at max health rather than get them down to that minimal level. I mean, it's not like a bug. It's not like a danger Mario run in in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door or any of or any sort of or any sort of low health run in Bug Fables. Because essentially in those games, you can easily control, you easily have ways to bring yourself down to low health. In Thousand Year Door especially, where you could set Mario's health down to five by default, making it where he's perpetually in danger mode. However, in this game, it's kind of a bit of a challenge, to be honest. Okay, apparently the game wants us to use trampolines. So, no, no, I'm not going to use trampolines. Because we have some good Mario attack. 52! I will rather keep the attack up rather than basically deal with those dark boos. Okay, boom. We'll take you out. Okay, he's going for Mario. Jump over you. Yeah, it's it's so cool seeing Mario with his attack boost up with no damage. Pretty handy. Trampoline, get an extra one. I will take all the trampolines the game's willing to give me. But still, I like using my standard jump whenever possible because really, I like saving these items. Because the thing is just moderation, you know? Just keep an eye on your items and you'll be fine. Sure, there's going to be plenty of fights out there where you're just going to want to just annihilate the enemies. Just destroy all the enemies with your bro items. Nothing wrong with that. Just like I said, just don't use your bro attacks on every last enemy. Just don't use it on, say, a Goomba, for instance. You're not going to use your trampolines on two Goombas. 
I mean, that would just be reckless. And that's just a waste of items, because you could easily just finish the job off yourself. For example, with this fight, I mean, I don't need to go around just using trampolines and the like, because I can easily take them on with Mario, with Mario and Luigi just by themselves. It's all about give and take. Yo, I want to jump on you. Get those 60 experience points. I know this makes me overpowered. I know it makes it where, oh, the boss fights aren't going as long as they could. But really, I'm ch I'm showing you how to basically I go about playing the game, you know? Basically give you some pointers if you feel like playing the game yourself and just how to go about doing it. Or just seeing how other people play the game because that's one thing I like to do when I watch other people do playthroughs. I like to see how they address the game, you know? Basically what their stance on these sort of things are. Basically how they handle level ups, for instance. Okay. We'll level up health for the baby bros. We're still getting some pretty good coverage with our level ups. Go, go, go. Smash, smash, smash. Let's go. Yeah, for me, like I said, my RPG experiences from my youth have really made me the way I am today when it comes to RPGs. Where, I, yes, I can come off as semi-anal when it comes to my levels, where I have to defeat every enemy, I have to pretty much just level up as much as I can, and the reason for that is just this perpetual fear I've always had, where when I was, like I said, in my youth, I was very delinquent when it came to battles. I would never want to fight standard enemies because I'm like, oh, I don't want to waste time. I want to play the game. I want to, I want to get to the story. But then just, lo and behold, I get to these bosses and I would just be stonewalled by them. They would just take, they would take several, they would take close to an hour really, if I was lucky. Heck, the junior shrewboid brat, the shrewboid brat, for instance, it, that took me at least a good 45 minutes when I first did it. Because just, I was so low in attack. And mind you, I was pretty much spamming the trampoline because according to the strategy guide, the trampoline is the all holy grail of items. Green pepper. Let's get that stuff. Red pepper's pretty nice. Red peppers are pretty good and handy. Unlike in Superstar Saga, the peppers have no downside to being you. So use the peppers as much as you want. Just... It's a very, very good experience. It's not like the peppers are going to weigh you down. Red peppers will weigh you down and make it where you're actually going to be heavier. Yoinks! Hello, PD. Hey, what's the big idea? Unhand me a Claude. That's a cool axe. Or is that, actually no, that's technically a halberd. It's time it fellas, boogie up here and cut me loose, will ya? Bust me out or I'm the, um, a snack for sure. Come on, we're pals, ain't we? I gave you the dirt on the secret entrance, didn't I? And then now it's your time to be good eggs, or it's cause for me, come on, hurry up. Yoinks! Bye, Kylie. Bye, standard effect for the win. Oh, yeah. We s we saw nothing, Luigi. Agreed, Mario. We saw nothing. Okay, let's go and grab what's beneath here, beneath the surface there. Hopefully, we'll have enough for a utility free badge. Which would be really handy. I give that to Luigi, for instance, or I give that to Mario. Yeah, I'll give it to Mario. Give the other badge to Luigi, basically, for his attack. And then, basically, we'll be really good. We'll be really ready to fight. Okay, there we go. A bean. How many beans do we have now? And great, I'm at 10% charge on my iPad, so I gotta plug that in. Sorry about that. Okay, 84, six beans to go. Hopefully those six are located here. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do an awkward time, port time portal stop in the next area, which I'd really hate to do. Smash egg. Okay, do a little bit of damage to all of them. Okay. Nice, nice. Nothing. Okay, sad. Okay. 
There we go. Okay, another jump. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's kill you. We'll go on to you next. Okay, that guy dodged. Nice! That'll really save some time for us. We won't have to do as many turns. 31. And finally, boom. 16. 100. Trampoline. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, is that fossil or something? Okay, is, is that fossil I signed? Oh, wait, wait, is that right there? That yellow thing? Okay, I, for a second I thought that was nuclear waste. I'm like, wait, what the heck? Nuclear waste in my Mario game? Okay. Boom. And... 28. Yeah, as you can see, this thing is essentially a rocket. Yeah, pretty cool. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of sad that this enemy was never used in another Mario game. It has a pretty cool design to it. Just, I mean, or at least in a Mario Party game where they tend to like to shove the obscure enemies. Yeah, really, it, it's a pretty cool enemy. I always thought it was pretty cool. Though then again, it could be because yellow is my favorite color. I've always liked yellow. It's always been my favorite color, as you can kind of see from my screen. I like my yellow. It's a cheery color. It it, it pops, you know? Go. Okay, I know that for a fact Mario can take that guy out. Okay, we'll jump that. And there we go. Some more experience for us. Maybe we can get another level up before we get to the, bo to the big boss of this area. Okay. And we get another one of these blocks. Let's go. Let's do this. Can we get to 34? 34. 34. I will jump and do that as I make it to 34 today. 34. 34. Ah, darn it. So close. Okay, another bean. Another time for me to shine. Okay, hopefully we can get to the 90 pretty soon. Which would be very nice. It would be very good for all of us. Okay. Let's go over here to this room. Whereas you can see, we can't go down to the pipe over there. Okay, you like mini games? Because guess what we get to do? Yeah, as you can see, basically, it's all about starting things up. Listen up, y'all. Spin the card below and three targets will appear. Going room and a flower. What the targets with the water? And if the target here matches the target down below, you win. Let's just get some things. Nine. Okay. No, what the? Why was it letting me use my hammer? There. Mushroom match. Mushroom match. And finally, can I get a lucky three? Can I get a lucky three? Okay, I think we can move away. No. No. Yeah. Okay, mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. There we are. Let's spit all that water out. I know, I know. I have done the spins. I have spit, I have spun and I have won. 
Let's go and move on. We're on to the next room, so that's pretty good. I think we'll also get a shortcut that will allow us to actually leave. Yep, sure enough. That will make it where Mario and Luigi can get out. And we are over here. Let's see if there are any beans here. Gotta make sure the beans are not missed out on. And we are moving along. As you can see, this is actually going to be a little bit of a longer place because, well, we have two full areas. Lots of hills, lots of stuff. Okay, pocket chomps. And baby Mario and baby Luigi are not going to win. Let's do a pocket chomp with them. Thankfully, the babies, they can use the pocket chomp on their own. Same as Mario and Luigi, except, well, they're using their own buttons. Okay. 17. 9. Yeah, though, with the pocket chomp, I can see some people not liking it because it can be a little bit of a time-consuming attack. But frankly, it's, it's a good attack, nonetheless. Just gotta have some patience with it. Gotta just go around. Just gotta be calm about it. Just gotta be cool. 9. 9. Oh, no, no. No! Okay, at least did da good damage on them all. Okay, 27. No, you did not. No. No, you do not. You are not going to attack us. I know. It's a weird hitbox, to say the least. But hey, at least we got victory. We won. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you're using your bro, if you're using any bros, the baby bros or the adult bros in battle, if they don't, if they're, it's just the two of them, game over if you both die. So, yeah. I'll basically use that to heal up Mario as well. Get some good attack there. Oh, crap. Baby Mario's down. Okay. At least let's defeat one of them. Knock that out. Okay, got some damage there. Okay, good. Point one. There we go. Take you out. Take you out. Okay, you have to wait until they're right up against you. And we win. Should get 150. Yep, 150. And a free pocket chop. Nice. Okay, let's head out. And now, boom. Get ready for another round of this. Okay, we gotta go to the upper ledge. One. Go, go, go. Okay. No. Oh, crap, crap, crap. I went on the wrong one. Okay, let's see what that other badge was that we got. Okay, was that the big def... Yeah, we got a big defense badge. Yeah, I failed, I failed. Nevertheless, we can get it. We can get this. Yeah, this is pretty much just one big Monty Mole minigame thing. Some Monty Mole minigame bonanza. Go, go, go. Charge forth. Okay, we'll go past this one. We don't have to worry about getting those crates again. And oh! Go into the ball form. And there we go. Clear. Pretty snazzy clear music. And we got everything we need on that path, so let's get a move on. Okay, we made it through a good chunk of the area. Okay, anything here? Just these guys. And Mario's down. Nevertheless, with Mario's increased attack, this, that'll be nothing for us. 
Okay. Go with Luigi. There we are. 31. 70, uh, 70 experience. Perfectly good. Perfectly good. Okay. Another bean spot. Like I said, I'm just excited. 86. Four beans to go. We're only four beans away. I think we'll actually find them in the castle, funnily enough. No. Okay, good, good. Yeah, we'll attack you. Okay, do some good damage there. No, you will not. We'll take them both out with the babies. And then this one. Oh, nice. He did not explode us. And we got lucky anyways. Pocket chomp. Yeah, before you ask, though, for enemies in the far back, it just naturally cuts off. Because that's just how the game is. It, this has nothing to do with basically how I, how I cropped the window. This is actually how I'm seeing it on my screen as well. So if you're ever curious about what's going on. Let's go. Okay, fine, game. You want me to use trampoline so badly? I'll use a trampoline. Okay. Another one. 13. Slow down because of the trampoline. The trampoline is too overwhelming. Ah! Can I endure? Boom. We won. Nevertheless, we won. One trampoline, one turn. Oh, if only they gave us the trampoline back. That would, that would have been really nice. That would be pretty cool. Thankfully, Petey's not going to come up through the pipe. The way these pipes. Okay, there we go. There we are. Okay, anything in this corner? Anything there? Okay, let's jump on them. I'm not going to use that ta that trampoline on that many enemies again because of just the sheer slowdown. Dodge. Yeah, you know, funny thing is that when I first started this playthrough, I was thinking to myself, you know, maybe I would make this a whole challenge. Of, let's see if I can get through the game without ever getting hit because basically... I had a good idea of just the enemy attacks. But then after I got hit in the first area, I was like, nah, nah. I was like, don't risk it, don't risk it. Three beans to go. Three beans to go. Three beans to go. Can we do it? Can we get all of the beans that we desire? Yes. Let's wait. Let's do this. Go. Jump. No, Luigi. I don't want you jumping on him. Bad Luigi, no jump for you. Let's see if Luigi has the strength. No, Luigi does not have the strength. Luigi does not have the will. Ow. Okay, I don't need the attack up. To finish the job. There we go. 70. Any level ups? Two trampolines, though. I got a profit of one trampoline, which is very good. Okay, we got to that room. Now for the big room. Okay, remember the boom guys from Bowser's Castle? Well, these guys are an upgrade version of them. Oh. Okay, I dodged. I know for a fact I can take these guys out alone. Okay. Let's use a bro shell for the just old time's sake. Just get that extra damage. Nice, 57. 90 experience points. No. Okay, good, good. Okay, you know what? No, no, no. I'll do this. Yeah, as you can see, just like his boom bro, his boom bro brother bow. Okay, we can at least take this guy out. 
Okay, granted, we're not gonna have as much strength as we did when Mario's attack up. Nice. He is weak. Okay, elite boom guy. Yes, if he's so elite, why is he living in a cave? Mario! All oh, that health. Nah, Mario doesn't need any attack. Yeah, I'll give Mario some health. See what he has going for him. Luigi's got some good health perks too. Yeah, six speed. Okay, I knew I could boost Luigi up sooner or later in speed. Okay, let's see how his speed is doing when compared to Mario. Okay, still 41, but it's at least a little better, you know? Okay. We'll hit you. There we are. And can we take him out? No, we cannot. No, we missed out. Okay, frankly, that's the better attack in my personal opinion rather than the duels. Just the dual sniffets. Okay, I should have attacked the other one with Mario. That would have saved me a little time. Okay, jump on you. And we got 150 experience. If only they had a badge like the bonus ring in Superstar Saga, where basically it doubles experience if you don't get damaged. Because frankly, using the EXP ring in conjunction with basically the Mush Power badge, it was so broken that it was beautiful. Basically, where you would basically, where you saw my, where if you saw my playthrough, you would know just how powerful a combo that was. Where basically, thanks to, no, it was the Great Power, it was the Great Power and the Mush Power badge where basically just Mario would destroy any enemies with the first strike, which would in turn make it where they don't, the bros don't get damaged, which would in turn cause it where they would get double experience in the fight. Make it where Mario and Luigi would just level up like gangbusters and just you would destroy everything in your path. It was beautiful. Just, I swear, that, that was just one of my greatest days. Just, that was some of the most fun I ever had while playing Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Just going in and going mad with the mush power. Oh, no. Yes, Luigi. Oh, no. Don't worry, Luigi. Don't worry, baby Luigi. We got you. And just Luigi gets shot in the face with a bullet. Let's finish this guy off, so that way Mario can then go in with his strike. Okay, they're gonna attack anyways. Nope! Okay, yeah, you gotta be really on your A game with the elite food guys. But still, we did pretty well. 70 experience, very nice. Let's hit that platform. So that way when we're ready to climb it, we can climb it. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this room. We're basically, you're just going around. Frankly, I'm just gonna finish up the rest of this dungeon and then I'm gonna basically, you know what? I'm gonna make this a longer episode because the thing is, is that I have plans, basically. I'm not gonna say what they are. I'm not gonna go into any details, but let's just say I am not gonna wanna continue much further past PD for various reasons that I will not explain. I, you'll see in the next episode. You'll see my plans in the next episode, but basically, for the time being, just basically just be patient, okay? I have my plans. This is gonna be a little bit of a longer video, and for that, I apologize if you're not too keen on longer videos, but hey, we've got this. We've got this and it's all good. Let's head up here. Toss the babies over there. Okay, go there. Yeet us those fetuses. Ultra mushroom. There we go. Let's head out. We could have just used the pipe for some reason. 
I was trying to throw the babies inside, but apparently I am not allowed good things like that. Yeah, the game really loves their 100 coins in a pipe that you have to basically get with the babies and then collect with the regular bros before they disappear. This time you will not fool me, boom guys. Boom. Nice try, but no dice. There we go. 63 damage, very nice. 80 bro flower. We're gonna definitely be using those bro flowers because they will really make things really useful. Okay. They'll be really useful, not they'll make things really useful. Okay, get another bean. Two beans left. Two beans left. Two beans left. Can we do it? Are there two beans left? Yeah, got it. Got the bomb. Smash egg. They're fast. They're nice. They're nimble. They're great. And boom, got two of them. Very good, it makes it worth it if I can knock out two. And got one up super out of it. Ow! Okay, let's go. 30, 150, free experience, and the babies get their next level up. Okay. Six attack for baby Mario. Okay, and four attack for baby Luigi. I am perfectly content with that. Very good, very good. Let's move out. No, oh, no. Luigi! Okay, good. That was what I was banking on. That is what I was banking on. Pocket chomp time. Luigi. Yep, there we go. Yeah, don't focus on the hammer when you're dealing with floating enemies. Just focus on the jump. 16. 10, 16, 16, 32, nice. Okay, and we should have this right about now. There we go. And Luigi gets that last ticket attack boost. Yeah, Luigi, you're gonna really need that attack boost for the level up screen. You're gonna need for that level up screen, Luigi, when you stand there in your victory pose. Let's go. Okay, ice flowers because, come on, oh come on, ow, oh crap, 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 yeah, I'm going to want to do this. Come on, get lucky. Get a lucky. Get a lucky. I want lucky, come on. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Spin, spin. Okay, got another one. Yeah, there we go. 80 damage, very good. One more bean! Let's go. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, we're going to basically heal up. Shall yeah, we're going to heal up. 30 HP for everyone. Yeah, that way, basically, I don't risk it. Because by my luck, I would not heal and I would die. I'd get game over and I'd be sad. Okay, I'm trying to jump on him. Good, there we go. Jump on you, we'll take you out. Yes, fly on your giant rocket tomb. You know, that would actually be a good Pokemon, rocket tomb. Basically, too bad they didn't do that with Galarian Spirit Tomb. That with, I'm sorry, with Galarian Cofagrius, because that would actually be pretty interesting. Just having it where just it's not, where basically it's the sweeper. Fast attack, low defense. Just very cool. Contrary to the regular Cofagrius, which is basically a wall, a pure wall. Yeah, I love how the babies are just completely outranking the bros in terms of their level ups. Just complete outrankage. It's beautiful. Okay. We went into that pipe already, so let's move out. Okay, this is going to be another mini game. We're going to need to send the babies up there so that way they can do their thing. Okay, and we did it! We got all the beans that we needed for the Utila Free Badge. Though we're going to also try and aim for an additional 60 beans. Okay, basically, you want to make it where the babies... Sorry, yeah, we got to get the secret blocks. Okay, good. One. And there we go. We unlocked the way forward. That's the last mini game that we had to do. Which is very nice. Can we jump across? Can I utilize my ace platforming skills? As you can see, I am a platforming pro and I can jump across all these platforms. I see the future, like the Monado. Yeah, sorry babies, gotta leave your asses behind. Nothing personal, babies. Kind of odd why they chose to make that a spin portion. Nevertheless, we got what we needed here. Got all the beans? No, no, no. We are going to jump. We are going to jump, and it will be good. Yeah, this time I'm not... Okay, this time I'll use the actual Smash Show. Okay, one more hit on him. We will do it. Okay, 27. There we go. Any items? No items. Sorry. But at least we knocked him out. Okay, Luigi's going to have to deal with that. No, no, we do not. No. Okay, jump on you and boom, 28. How much experience are we going to get for that? Are we going to get another level up with the regular bros? No, we are not getting a level up with them. Let's grab what we can here. Good to see. Good to see. Bros flowers too. Sneak attack from above. Caveman attack. Okay, cool. We got the rare ver variant of the pocket chop, which has a bow on it. Granted, it's nothing unique in terms of stats from the normal chop. It's just a cool little detail that you can sometimes get. And I'm glad I got to show it to you. Granted, it wasn't something I was banking on. I'm like, ooh, I gotta get the bow chomp. Okay, we got that. Defeated him. And we did it. 61 damage. Okay, we're doing pretty well. And another bean spot for us. 59 to go before we can get a treasure badge. Because, like I said, I really want to get a treasure badge. At least before we get to the final area. That Shroom Castle. Because there are going to be some good items that we are going to want that... We're going to want that badge for. Okay, Pocket Chomps, like I said, just 
You want to use these as sort of item fodder slash, okay, I need to attack a bunch of enemies, but yeah, I don't want to waste my good trampolines. Okay. Good. Why is my heart racing? I don't know why. I'm not feeling nervous or anything. It's just my heart is all of a sudden racing. I'm getting excitable. I don't know. I guess I'm really enjoying myself too much. Okay. Breathe. No, run, Luigi. Run. We at least defeated them. Bro, flower. Very nice. And what's in this one? Ultra drop. Very good. Very nice. Granted, it's not the best item. I mean, considering that's on a platform, you'd think that it would be like some grand A item. But no, but I'm not complaining. Let's go. Okay. Let's take you out. Okay. It's Luigi, so frankly, I don't care. Let's hit you. Knock you out. They're gonna roll. He's gonna roll around. So I could get him, like how I got that one. 52. Okay, nice. We'll knock out this guy. And finally, come on, lucky, lucky. Yeah, lucky! Blue pepper, very good. You can also sell peppers which for a decent price, I believe. And I believe that we are actually pretty much done with this dungeon, believe it or not. Because the next one is going to be just this sort of room. Big save area. Doesn't look suspicious in any way. We'll make sure that Mario is all healed up because we've got some good things that we can be doing. Okay, get ready. Because this boss is actually special to me. Because as you can guess, we're going to be fighting P. Piranha. And PD was a massive roadblock for me when I first played the game. I am serious. Basically, Squiggler was a roadblock for me. Sunnyside was a roadblock, was a major roadblock for me. And PD was arguably one of the biggest roadblocks for me. Where it took me about six months to defeat P. I am serious. It took me at least a few months to defeat him. I don't know if it was exactly six months or so, but it was a while. Okay, let's search around this room because frankly, you gotta always make sure that these sort of rooms aren't hiding something. As you can see, this is a boss room. There's a block, a suspicious looking block in that crate in the middle of that pipe that is in no way suspicious. As you can see, there's a room behind here. We'll open up that coin. And here's Petey. Yeah, unfortunately, Petey does, yeah. Though it seems Petey does not like blocks. He's willing to eat a Koopa shell and all, but yet the block is apparently where he draws the line. Okay, P's gonna scan the area. Luigi. Luigi, you left yourself behind. This is why Luigi's traumatized. Because Luigi was abandoned by himself. Yes, toss the baby. Eat the baby at the plant. Okay, anyways, PD. Okay, he's actually, okay, I thought PD was gonna go first. PD, he is the first boss. He's the first and only boss in this game that has a weakness to fire. So yeah, basically, utilize your pro flowers and PD will go down like you wouldn't believe. Boom, 157 damage, and that's my pro flower. Darn, it took damage on him. Anyways, we'll take Petey down with these nice bro flowers. Boom. 
56. Okay. Okay, apparently he's not taking as much damage. When he does that, jump at the same time. Okay. Boom, 62. Okay, you know what? We'll use a trampoline on you. Now we're doing more than 60 damage. I thought we'd be doing more than that. Okay. Boom. A, Y, B, A, B, Y, X, B, A, X, Y. Okay, now PD's gonna go into the ground where he's gonna do a bunch of other attacks. Wait, for this one, this, this pit trap, do not let him trap you in it. Just keep jumping, just keep jumping. Oh great, this one. I hate this one. This attack was a pain in the ass when I first played this game. I would always fail to it. Ow! Okay. Okay. Boom, 133. Now, basically, PD will count as a spiked obstacle. So basically, do not go around attacking him, basically, with not, well, not spiked attacks, okay? With jump attacks, boom. There we go. Man, how much health do you have, PD? Okay, more pitfalls. How much speed do you have, PD? Just attack us three times. Ow. Okay. Boom. Is that going to do it? No, it's not going to do it. As PD has a billion health for some reason. Okay. Boom. One, two, three, four. Is that going to do it? No, it's not going to do it. He's going to attack three times. Okay, just judge the box, the letter on the box to see what character he's going to send this plant thing after first. And it takes a while. Yeah. Just constantly sending it after us. Thank you, Petey. Thank you for pleasuring us with this sort of attack. I value it greatly, Petey. I value your attacks greatly. There we go. Okay, hopefully this is the final attack. There. No! Okay, I'm using a bro shell. I just want some variation in my, in my present. That's all you have left? Seriously, Petey? That's all you have left on your health bar? 360, okay, level up? No level ups for anyone. I curiosity, how close am I to another level up? And a third Cobalt Star Shard. And then Bowser Jr., baby Bowser comes out of nowhere. He drills everyone to the ground. You got the third Cobalt Star Shard. Ow, 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 I bought my dog but good. Hope my camera's not broken. It's worth more, it's worth more, worth more than four of you. Hey, it's my whisker, uh, sorry, excuse me. It's my whisker boys. Did you KO that overgrown veggie? Good deal. When that clown saw me down, I thought it was the big sleep for sure. So good, fellas. Did the big lug have the shard? Why, it's the bee's knees. Gaze at those sparks long enough and you feel, yikes, I inside that crystal. So someone was looking back at me, fellas. Ah, 
<laughs> I must be off my trolley. I need a quick snoozer. Anyways, what gives, Whiskers? What are you gonna do when you get all those baubles together? You're quite the motley crew, but you make for a gold cop. You know about that, that. Good as you boys are, though. This thing's gotta lead out to top anything you've ever done. A big ass key! That's why I glommed onto a little shroom property when the alien boneheads grabbed me. Ain't that a thing of beauty? I think it's a key to something inside the shroom mothership. Who knows what this beauty can do in the right keyhole? It's a mystery, all right. But you can let your last, let your last mushroom be the scoop to stop the presses, boys. Hot, huh, you want to know if I saw Princess Peach in that piranha plant's belly? Oh, yeah. Believe it, fellas. Princess Peach was in there. But when I got eight, she got spit out lickety split. Oh, yeah. I was all set for an exclusive interview, too. Raspberries. I'm pretty sure she's still locked up in the cave somewhere. I suggest you fellas keep your peepers peeled for her. As for me, I'm gonna try and put that key to use. Which means it's time for me to say so long. Good luck, Whiskers. Oh yeah, I owe you one. Okay, we have saved the world. We are all healed up. And let's see how much experience. 124, 752 for them. Okay, we're doing pretty well. Once we pretty much get into the next area, we'll be getting another level for the bros. Anyways, PD cracked open this thing when he was defeated. He cracked open it when he spat out that block. Anyways, nothing there for us. And all it is is a matter of just going here and slip. Mario, C could it be? Is that you, Mario? Mario, help Mario! Eek! Okay, let's bring the babies back. Bring the babies back to us. That way we don't have to waste any time. And we'll head over here. Yeah, Xenomorph time! Yeah, how, yeah, did we just drag Princess Peach? Yeah, Luigi just, Mar, yeah, Mario just drags Peach back to the time or just by her feet, just dragging her through the gritty desert sand. Oh, calamity, how dare this fungus attack itself to our princess's beautiful massage. Quickly, get the crowbar. I dare say I'm rather curious to, as to how this mushroom has to fix itself as well. What a cruel jest this is! I get the chance to meet the adult princess and curse it! I guess we'll just have to wait for it to run and fall off! The shroom, I mean, not her face! Are you well, my dear? <laughs> oh, now you've done it, you, you trumpeting old, you trumpeting old elephant! The young miss is weeping again! A princess here, a princess there, no rest for me, I fear. Hey, the important thing is that the princess is safe! Come, princess, why don't you lie down for a while? I want to talk to Peach! Princess Peach is resting. Please come back later. Well, we'll do that in the next episode. Anyways, I think now would be a good time to end things off. I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. With that, see you next time. Bye.